Thank you, Parnav. And uh, sorry, we forgot to introduce uh, Dr. Prateep, though he's known to almost everybody, but he's the director of Glaucoma Services, Center for Sight and Indoor, and he's been a prolific glaucoma surgeon and been director of many places before. Plus, he's the current secretary of the Glaucoma Society of India. So we had one place which Prateep showed you where <coughs> disc was uh, normal, field was normal, but the pressures were high. And you just learned how to manage that kind of a case. Let's flip it over and come to a place where the disc is abnormal, the field is abnormal, and yet the pressures are normal. And this is the classical normal tension glaucoma. You will have a disc change, and uh, you will have a disc change, and there is a superior disc notch, and there is a symmetrical field in the uh, inferior no area which is typical. <laughs> Just to show you a case, a 57-year-old male came for routine eye checkup. Left eye was amblyopic since childhood. Pressures were normal, angles were open, and these are the two show. This was the one eye that I already showed you. This was the other eye. This is the amblyopic eye because the disc is a little abnormal also over here. But classic changes of glaucoma. The diurnal variation correctly done, corrected for the CCT, which is pachymetry, is normal. So what exactly is this? This is normal tension glaucoma. All right, so we ruled out whether he had any steroids, trauma, any CVS abnormality, any history of stroke or massive blood loss, each one of which can actually make a disc look abnormal like a glaucoma disc. We also did his nocturnal hypotension checkup and a hemogram and lipid, etc., to check whether there was any hypervelocity which would also again cause an abnormal disc like glaucoma. We did a carotid Doppler to check out whether there's any obstruction there which is causing the changes. And we did an MRI to find out whether there's any pituitary tumor, etc., which is pressing and causing changes which could be look very much like a glaucomatous change. So we said, all right, this is classical normal tension glaucoma and we put the patient on Travoprost, advised follow-up every three months. The patient did not come for 26 months. When he came back, he was absolutely normal and I said to everybody, yes, they hope it's perfect treatment. Hai. Everything is perfect. And the patient told us, sir, we have medicine. Dala hi so the patient had actually not put any medicines beyond three months and it's now more than two years and he was absolutely all right. So this is NTG for you. Are we right in putting the medicines or the patient was right in stopping the medicines? So how does it matter? Why don't we just treat this thing like a normal open angle glaucoma? Ladies and gentlemen, normal tension glaucoma is a diagnosis of exclusion. Okay, you have to do so many other tests to make sure, like I told you, the hyperviscosity and carotid and this and that and MRI, which you are not going to do in a normal open angle glaucoma case. So the patient is spending money, so you better be clear what you are dealing with. This is something totally different. Again, like Prateep told you, first be careful. Are you measuring the uh, pressure correctly? Once we do a diurnal variation, the pressure is 24 hours. So the whole thing is off. It is not a normal tension glaucoma. It is actually an open angle glaucoma. So do a correct technique of pressure recordings, correct it with CCT and check all the intraocular pressures day and night, even if you have to admit the patient. Are you sure the disc is bad? It may be bad because of other things and then it will look like glaucoma because a bad disc will look like give a field effect but it is actually not glaucoma. So be careful that it is not a myopic change, myopic disc can give like that, it is not an optic disc coloboma or a pit and many a times I have seen a classic arcuate defect and you see what it is, is a BRVO because we have glaucoma surgeons so we dilate nahi karte. we just see the disc. And once you dilate and you realize, oh God, this is something entirely different and I've been treating this patient for glaucoma. And similarly, ARMD, pituitary tumor, 1 in 1000 to 2000, you do in an NTG and you will detect a pituitary tumor and save a patient's life. So please remember that fact. Again, like Prateep told you, intermittent ACG can give rise to these situations. So do a good thorough gonioscopy to see what is happening. It is now well known that if <coughs> the diastolic pressures minus the eye pressures okay so i get in all these situations a 24 hour bp ambulatory recording it will give you a full chart and if more than many times the diastolic bp minus the eye pressure is less than 55 
the upbred the blood is not reaching the eye the perfusion pressure is not adequate and the same changes will take place so you have to be very very careful you must rule out a burnt out glaucoma ek bar ko ek cheez hui okay he had a steroid induced glaucoma steroid band ho gaye damage ho chuka tha and suddenly things have gone back so you are dealing with a one time thing same with postnar strossman traumatic or sudden elevation due to some other cause so what change is not progressive but you will keep treating him like glaucoma so you have to be very very careful whether it is a dead thing or a alive thing now this ntg study taught us a lot of things it taught us that almost 50 57% of the patients could be treated by laser or uh, medicines alone what is very interesting to note is this 80% of the patients in normal tension glaucoma when their pressures were reduced by 30% were okay but 20% still progressed on the other hand normal tension glaucoma koi treatment nahi diya gaya phir bhi 40% patients are all right 40% that's a huge bloody thing and you are going to treat it out so what is the risk of progression it is not related to the severity of this uh, to the field it is not related to age hypertension diabetes or family history it is it is a some kind of a vascular disease and it is related to migraine disc hemorrhage and being a female and thank god for that at least and uh, whom to treat make sure it is needed because the only important drug that will work is prostaglandin analogs because it lowers the pressure below the episcleral venous pressure but please do not forget that in the ntg study the drug which was used was pilocarpine the cheapest drug available easily to everybody and to the poorest of the poor so if you cannot use anything else please use that should we do a trabeculectomy we all know it's a tough tough job to do aur agar 14 pressure hai uska to usko saath pe lana with trabeculectomy you are likely to have a cataract and a shallow chamber and so many other problems so whom should i treat here those threatening fixations iops are in higher ranges 16 to 20 डिस्क हैमरेज है तो इसका मतलब है कि प्रोग्रेशन होने वाला है और क्लासिकल फील्ड डिटेशन हो रहा है तुम्हारे सामने सामने सॉफ्टर क्राइडिया इज इफ इट इज अ वाइडर डायरनल वेरिएशन मोर देन एट मिलीमीटर इन द डायरनल वेरिएशन कर्व इफ दर इज अ न्यू ऑप्टिक डिस्क हैमरेज डीप लोकलाइज नॉच यंगर एज सिस्टमिक हाइपोटेंशन हिस्ट्री ऑफ वैसोस्पैजम और माइओपिया माइग्रेन एज वेल सो हाउ डू यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रीट लोअर द प्रेशर बाई थर्टी परसेंट like i told you professor gan analogs you can use brimonidine dorsolamide and even pilocarpine avoid beta blockers because they will lower the perfusion pressure in the night the beta blockers go into the system cause hypotension something that we don't want because it is some kind of a vascular disease only so be very very careful in a case on lower side be very careful because doing a trab is not going to be easy by any medication getting the pressure down is going to be tough so where you are not sure please just follow up 40% will always remain stable even otherwise and there are some new thoughts that even choroidal thickness may have a play role to play and csf pressure is turning out to be a big thing you see it is the pressure gradient across the lamina cribrosa which is important so if the pressure in the csf is low the pressure on the eye will remain look like it is high and the nerves will be damaged in a similar fashion do it is still to come up but this is what uh, people are working at so what to do with a case clearly rule out other etiologies that we have talked about like angle closure glaucoma burnt out glaucoma pigmentary steroid induced or postnar strossman history of acute fluid or blood loss some people after cabg that is a bypass surgery which is so common suddenly turn up with disc which are very much glaucomatous see the pituitary tumor and omlies of the disc and then depending upon the finances of the patient iop range field whether it is far advanced treat suitably make sure that you are not over treating thank you very much